I'm Tim from Dutch Line Customizing and I promised a few friends that I would make uh, a video about my uh, easy and cheap line bending machine for, um, for bending acrylic. Um, so I'm going to uh, give a very short tutorial about what is what and um, how much I spend on it and how easy it is to use. So uh, I'll zoom into the uh, actual line bending machine and I'll, uh, I'll start explaining. Okay, so um, this is the uh, monstrosity that I was talking about. Um, it's, it's pretty simple, just about anyone with half a brain can, can build this. Uh, you know, the, there's not much you can do wrong uh, apart from burning yourself uh, when you're actually bending it. But you have to be quite a buffoon to do that. Um, so, what is what? What do you need? Well, um, uh, basically what it is, is making a, a piece of wire uh, hot in, in a, in a U-shaped um, uh, form. So uh, what I did was I, I, I got a piece of, um, a U-piece of aluminium which is in here. Um, you, you know, you can use whatever you have laying around. It's just to, uh, to, try to make sure that the heat doesn't go down but it, it goes actually up so you get like a uh, yeah, like a U piece full of uh, full of uh, warmth, um, and you get some wood that it's just about the same height as the, the U piece in it. Um, so you have a, a, a plate of wood under it, single plate. You place the U piece in the middle. You put some wood left and right, one or two layers or whatever you have laying around. That's just about the same height as the U uh, the U piece. Um, left and right of the U piece, you drill uh, uh, a screw in, and between uh, two screws, you put uh, some wire. Um, I bought this, it's um, literally called resistance wire. Um, so, what it does is um, it puts resistance on the, on, the, on the amps you put over it, and it heats up. It actually this actually comes with um, with a uh, like a diagram of if you were uh, you you put these two in, with a meter in between if you put this much amp on it it get that hot if you put that much amps on it, it gets that hot um, so you know yeah, that's a uh, it all depends on which wire you get uh, and, and and what uh, power source this was actually very cheap so uh, some online hardware store sold it I have here what 10 meters so I can make quite a few uh, bending machines. Um, the other thing you need to uh, think of is uh, on one side you put the, heat, the resistance wire uh, around the screw but on the other side you need to put a, a spring in between. The reason for this is if the wire gets hot it, um, the, the material gets like softer and it starts hanging otherwise and what you want is a, a tight uh, strong um, you know, completely uh, horizontal line that isn't sogging in the middle. It will be uh, quite hard to bend uh, bigger pieces that way. So that, that's basically your, your bending, uh, bending jig. Um, so what do you need to, to power it? Um, this is actually just, what's it called, 18 gauge or whatever. Uh, uh, the, the same wire I, I used to um, to make uh, PC cables with, and on um, on one side there is an AC/DC adapter. Uh, I just bought one. There was I I, I, try, I needed to try a few to see what what which was uh, best for this. This one is uh, 12 volts, six amps, and I just cut the the plug of it on one side, uh, which means you get two wires. I uh, soldered the wires onto them, some heat shrink, and on each wire on the ends I put, well, in, in Holland they call these crocodile clamps. Um, I have no idea what you call them in your country, but um, you know, just, just like, uh, they just bite onto the wire, pretty much like a crocodile. And you know, that's, that's all you need, one left, one right. And then you plug in the, um, 
the adapter into the power source and um, the wire in between uh, should get to a, a certain heat. Um, I, I made this piece earlier. It's uh, actually four millimeters acrylic. Uh, doing this for a, a model for a, for a mod I'm doing right now, and um, it, it's even four millimeter a millimeter acrylic is easy. Um, the closer you put the um, the clamps to each other, uh, the more hot the um, the wire gets in between, and you know you need to you need to play a little bit with uh, whatever your um, you know your uh, what kind of wire you have uh, with your power source and um, with how much room you get between it. Um, it's the one one of the main things you need to think about is that the uh, when you put like a piece of acrylic like this over it, that the wire needs to be like you know uh, a few millimeters on it, under it, so like three millimeters, I don't know, four millimeters, two, somewhere between that. You need to play with it, I, I, I guess, uh, uh, depending on how much heat it produces um, and how, how big the, uh, the surface is. Um, I made quite a big one because I want to uh, bend. Uh, entire PSU shrouds with it. Um, the pros of this uh, is that um, basically the, 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 the exact uh, line of material above the resistance wire gets hot so you get a very very nice straight um, bend in it. I used to bend with, um, with a heat gun which was fine, but I, I noticed that sometimes it was, especially when bands are close to each other, you know, you, you hit too big of a, of a surface, and um, with, with this you don't, and it's it's really useful. Uh, it, it, total this, I think everyone can can build this uh, uh, for 50 euros or 50 dollars max, and um, you know, then you could just uh, I just put this in the in the shed when I'm not using it. And I'm for uh, uh, taking it back in uh, when I have to use it, and it's just easy to set up. Once I put on the power, it's it takes like 30 seconds or whatever to uh, make the uh, the wire uh, nice and warm, and I can just start. It takes between one or a few minutes to get the entire line hot of the uh, of the bend that I want to do, and then I can just you know wiggle it a bit and I feel okay it's soft I'll take it off and I'll put it somewhere where I know the angle is correct and um, and I'm done I'll take the power off so that's that's basically it it's it's pretty easy it's it's very cheap uh, a lot of the materials you might just have at home um, you know like some screws some wood some new piece whatever uh, some wire Maybe even an old adapter from a, a laptop or a, or an LED strip, and um, yeah, then it's uh, it starts becoming very easy to make um, to make very straight and clean um, bends. So I'm gonna leave you uh, with this, and um, I might just put a few uh, links in the description of the video to where I got it, so you can. Uh, you can maybe find something very similar where you live. And uh, I hope uh, it was useful this video. So uh, have a nice day.